So the hotel where I'm staying has a big sign that says uh, must wear masks. Head west toward Old Marlton Pike West. <laughs> must wear masks when inside. And uh, and I booked first uh, two nights and then they told I called the hail trailer. They told me that uh, they close at three o'clock today. And so it's not gonna be ready. And I said, okay, so I went, uh, I, kept, I compared prices for the same room on the price line where I booked the first two nights and um, and I called the lady at the counter uh, and their rate was uh, cheaper it was actually the same rate per night but price line adds added like 20 or 30 dollars in fees and so I call her again I said yeah I just checked I said I'll go with you guys and I, w I just walked you know 10 feet down to the counter because they put me on the first floor right next to not too far from them but of course everything is closed well there's coffee there's hot water but um, there's no food uh, there's no breakfast and then I'm sitting here and of course the weather is you know it's, it was raining but I'm like what do I do so I started researching online like can I rent maybe a car and I'm thinking okay what car would I want to rent maybe something like sports exotic and they have these enterprise rent a car has um, you know one of the branches you can rent like Maserati Lamborghini you know stuff like that uh, but I got scared because it says uh, must transfer full insurance from your car like how do I even do that my car is in Canada I don't have any of my insurance documents with me I only have my semi truck and so I decided just to I was looking at the enterprise they were like five miles from my hotel and I said, okay, luxury. And it says Cadillac XTS or similar. And I took an Uber. The Uber guy is wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask and I brought my gloves and I brought my uh, baby wipes, even though I don't have a baby, don't ask me why. But I brought these, brought my glasses that Alan gifted me in Ontario in case, you know, it stops raining and the big sign on the door of enterprise says do not enter somebody will will be with you momentarily so they, they don't want they don't want you even to go inside the building but of course i did everything on the phone and on the internet uh, they already had my driver's license and stuff like that and so a girl comes out in some kind of a flowery kerchief with uh, unpainted broken nails but young attractive at least from what i can see above the bandana and she says uh, just what's your last name I gave her my last name she found me right away because I guess they don't have that many people and she says well here's the choices Volvo minivan Mercedes-Benz uh, uh, what was the other one some big SUV discovery discovery SUV and then Audi and I said okay like where's the Cadillac and she says no we don't have a Cadillac but the Cadillac class is this Mercedes and I, I said okay how how much is discovery because you know that, that would be something unusual you know and she says that's 80 bucks a day uh, okay how about the Audi it was the same I said no forget Volvo minivan I'm not driving minivan I said uh, what about the Mercedes and she says well that's what you booked and I said, I thought I was booking a Cadillac, you know. She says, no, you booked a Mercedes. <laughs> I mean, she says, it's the same class. That's what you're telling you. So this was 50 bucks a day. And then, of course, she's out. And I booked it for two, two days. And then she says, uh, uh, what are you going to do about insurance? Are you going to transfer your own insurance or you want us to pay? I said, forget it. How much is your insurance? She says, 20 bucks a day. I said, okay, I'll take 20 bucks a day. And, and then I got into this car. I don't think I ever drove a Mercedes. You know, this looks like, I don't know, 18th century, 19th century. Uh, but the trickiest part, of course, of course, here it's everything is clear, right? Your windshield wipers. Wait a second. Yeah, the windshield wipers, right? And it has a remote start, kind of like the same thing as my challenge. You just need to keep a key somewhere here, right? And has, uh, you know, climate control. You can see independent, right side, left side. So pretty much like in my car I'm familiar with this and the same thing you see like I I turn it off because I cannot record the radio for YouTube but this thing doesn't have any performance 
doesn't have any performance stuff it just you see a radio media oh actual navigation it has navigation I was looking for navigation I guess I missed these uh, four four letters no memory card containing navigation software inserted ah yeah when you book this uh, car they were asking you for this uh, and then of course you can use it for your phone I guess if you are connected right but I'm not gonna bother with that I'm just gonna cancel it but basically yeah the, this was an option you have to pay them I think like 10 bucks a day like why would I want to do that when I have my my phone and have a second phone over there but everything is nice you know it's all leather right but the tricky part you know the first thing of course you do is just you adjust the seat and I look here there's a button there's a button here with arrows and then there's something over here but no matter what I did I cannot move it and I, I noticed that the tank was only three quarters full right and this car has uh, 5,000 miles I don't know what it means at the top it says 5195 at the bottom it says 11435 no idea so somebody who's familiar with the mercedes-benz cars will probably tell me in comments what it is but basically i had to go grab the girl and ask her how to move the seat and she says oh she says that's actually the tricky part all the controls are here <laughs> like you see i guess that's memory so you can uh, you know if you have like a wife and a husband driving they can memorize this but yeah so all this it's all electric you know down this is the um yeah this is your back not sure what that's probably a memory button but yeah i found my position like i'm pretty comfortable and uh yeah it's a four door but in the back it's pretty pretty small and enterprise is right there and i saw i wanted i wanted this china express because you know today is the weekend and the rule on the weekend is i want to have some bad food either dumplings or pierogies or pancakes something like that and so it was super tricky to get back here because i couldn't understand where is the like the enterprise i can see behind the trees is there like where's the this china express and when i put in the the address i put in the address the um uh, Google says you have you have arrived like what so I have to go all the way around the block And then I saw a driveway. There's a pizza place in here uh, But anyway, I think the rain stopped a little bit. So let me just show you and see all this is my stuff I brought the sanitizer. I brought this I brought that and I I cleaned the wheel But I asked the girl and she says yeah, they they cleaned it multiple times and it, it had, They said nobody use it for seven days it's like a small SUV. See Mercedes Benz, uh, but they have the same style. It looks a bit, I don't know, loud, you know, like these pieces. I will show you the engine, but I don't know how to open the hood. <laughs> oh, it has Michigan plates. So yeah, this is uh, Mercedes GLA 250. All right. At least we I know how to open this you just put your 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 hand in there it opens oh and then it goes down by itself let's look at the lights oh, I don't think they yeah not even an LED lights regular light so it's some kind of a cheap cheap mercedes i wish i would have a i wish i would have a oh yes i like that i like when they have uh, turns on the mirrors you know not bad for 50 bucks a day not bad all right but let's see if we can find that How do you open the that's parking see nothing here so i guarantee it that the hood opens somewhere here huh. 
Oh, I have a button. What does what does it do? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, what do I have here? I guess that's your cruise control. Oh, you can shift over here. All right. That's like a sport mode. So we're locking the doors. All right. What is that? But I guarantee like this car, see that's the parking brake. So that's definitely not that. Okay, this is auto. Headlights are on auto. That's engine. Oh, and I asked the girl, I said, do you know what, uh, what kind of, a, what kind of a engine it has? <laughs> she says, no idea. <laughs> it's like, well, like seriously, right? How do you open the hood, you know? Those are your, yeah, rear, rear windows, front windows. Okay, that's your mirror. I think that might be it, you know? <laughs> A wrong button. See, I push the button. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you see, all major buttons are on the door. You know, like your seat, see your windows. But yeah, guys, don't blame me. I'm a trucker, right? I'm not used to these fancy cars, you know. But anyway, what are we doing now? I thought I would just show you, but it's super quiet. It's super quiet, and I only ch I only charge my. Uh, GoPro for like one hour so we're just gonna go for small ride short ride eight minutes since this place is closed basically when I arrived I see there's no light inside and uh, and uh, I went out looked at that uh, but it actually is pretty comfortable, you know? Like the seat, you can adjust in so many directions, you know, up, down. What is this? I don't want to talk to anybody here. Missed call. Carrier sun sanctions, sanctions, forget it. Let's go get something to eat. And it says that I'm supposed to... Oh, just go back. Like it's a very tricky. All right, so. Son of a bitch. Hello? Yeah, that's me. What can I do for you? I wonder if, um, if I do local, local stuff? If you, if you local. Oh no, I just have an RGN. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I move machinery equipment, and right now I'm in New Jersey. So yeah, I, I cannot help you. Okay, Thank you. okay bye. So somebody has access to both of my phone numbers. So she called me on that phone, on the Canadian one. Couldn't reach me, so she called my US phone. Basically wanted me to move a... Uh... Okay, this is... Oh. So if you click, if you push in, it automatically goes to park. Uh-huh, so you don't even have to move the lever. See, it's all crazy, right? Like, I'm, like, and there's no movement. Okay, you see rear? As soon as you do rear, it shows you the... Shows you the... Uh, 
and the path and everything that's pretty cool all right drive one check entire surroundings why am i why is the camera still on all right is my trunk closed yeah the trunk is closed mirrors are good all right how in do 50 I? meters turn right onto old marlton pike west turn right But the car is super quiet, you know. I, I'm not used to cars like this. Take the next right onto Old Marlton Pike West, then turn left onto South Cropwell Road. Are you sure? Okay. Well road see that's what I want to do I just wanted to drive around because all parks are closed you know you cannot go anywhere you're supposed to wear a mask uh, whenever you're near people and this is like five miles away from my hotel but at least they said I can return it to the location closer to me but they said In that 600 meters turn left onto Marlow Road but they said that location is closed right now. 600 meters, where is that? Are we turning left? But yeah, actually, yeah, this is kind of like really luxury, you know, because it's so quiet. Uh, the suspension, it's not too soft. Turning here. Mercedes Benz. Welcome to the Mercedes Benz Customer Assistance Center. You can also visit us on the web at www.mbusa.com. Hang up. How can I help? I think you said Mercedes Me Connect. Is that correct? Hang up. End the call. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. Good afternoon, thank you for calling Mercedes Me Connect. This is Lionel speaking. Yeah, I just rented this car. I pushed the button by mistake. Can you please uh, stop the call? I don't have any emergency. I just rented this car from Enterprise, a car. Thank you. Hi. Thank you very much. Enjoy your new work car. Thank you, sir. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh boy, you see it's over there. Like this car has so many buttons, it's not even funny. All right, where's my speed? Because they have cameras over here. Right here. See, now I have to get used to because, you know, in Canada, right, I'm used to kilometers. And we do have miles on the speedometer, but in small, in small numbers, but the main one are Oh, and they have, I see, they have uh, rain-sensitive wipers. Like, I started them with an interval, and automatically they switch to, to this constant movement. So, yeah, okay, 25 mile per hour zone, and we're doing 25 miles. So, the maximum speed on the speedometer is 160 miles per hour, which is pretty cool. And of course it's an automatic so now it says i'm in i'm in gear four and you see this so that's another 10 bucks i think they, you can rent uh 10 bucks a day you can rent uh 
transponder because of course this is New Jersey so there's toll roads everywhere I see that's what I like and I, oh, I wanted to rent a pickup truck but then I thought you know what pickup truck of course for me that's much more closer to my heart either a pickup truck because I had a, I had right I had the door ram I had Ford F-150 so that would be cool uh, or a sports car and actually these guys had the challenger in there but I look at the door with my trained eye to see if it says 6.4 on the door and that B emblem and it did not have it so within two seconds I knew that that car has a 5.7 or even V6 uh, engine in 400 meters turn right and so I'm not interested in driving a Challenger with a small engine all right so Panera Bread should be somewhere here we're turning right yeah okay so it's somewhere inside this there's a big shopping area yeah the turn signal is nice like the sound is nice like not too loud Mercedes wow take the next right in 200 meters slight right onto brick road in 600 meters slight right son of a gun so I missed it it's somewhere somewhere to my left turns are from the right lane here all turns are from the right lane wait a second I should have slight right should have gone in there somewhere unknown territory unknown car of course it does not help you know I don't like I'm used to a tablet like this size right shoot I should have brought my tablet I got a Verizon tablet right so it's always uh, it has internet connection but where, where are we turning 73 north okay so 73 north and then the like next turn and that's why it wants me in the middle lane because this way I'm gonna end up in the curb lane Like I'm driving a Mercedes. What? Trucker, truckers are allowed to drive Mercedes-Benz cars. Weird. But I'm guessing it's probably a V6 or um, maybe even a V4. I think it's a diesel. In 300 meters, turn right. So 
inside this one, not that one. So it's a huge shopping area. Take here. the next left, then turn right. All right, Panera Bread, where are you? You see, it's everything is empty. There's no people. Turn right, then turn left. Are you sure about this? I'm looking for cars because this should be where cars are, right? That's a bank, Pandora. It shows someone on my left, according to this point. I didn't see anything. Security. Turn left, then turn left. <laughs> I'm gonna ask this guy. Yeah. Hey, is that? Is there a Panera bread somewhere here? Yeah, it's all the way on the other side. So if you go down to where Alvin is at, yeah. you go around that little circle, it's right in front of it's right next to Alvin. Oh, but it's in the same plaza, right? Just okay. Thank you. Do this again. Turn left, then turn left. Yeah, right. See, basically, that's what you're looking for. There you go, Panera bread. You're looking for cars. You see, and there's cars in there. And you just put your mask on and you go inside and uh... oh, sure. I'm too high you guys probably didn't see did you see anything as I was driving I'm just curious close here I guess you guys probably didn't see <laughs> didn't see anything all right let me go and uh, pick up waiting spot huh so I know the previous one yeah, you see the girl is bringing the food out and whether it says pick up waiting spot waiting lot pick up waiting lot I'm gonna go inside and ask him. Anyway, that was my uh, quick trip. So you got uh, 
got uh, lost a couple of times, right? And that's where we are. We are just southeast of Philadelphia on the New Jersey side. This is uh, uh, Malton. Malton? And you see, oh, that's why I see it shows Panera Bread all in the wrong direct in the wrong location like I'm here and the Panera bread is right there Google Maps thinks that it's over there see that's the problem but because you know it's a shopping center and they have issues with addresses anyway so that's my cute little video for today if I uh, find uh, how to open the hood I will let you guys know <laughs> what kind of engine I have <laughs> and I promise not to call Mercedes-Benz again maybe it's somewhere here but I don't know like I'm not used to these cars this is just crazy right it's not supposed to be that hard like what what if you need to check you know check your oil or stuff like that right that's just ridiculous anyway so killing time in New Jersey and yeah they said actually when I called them today I said uh, the service shop I said uh, I said um, when you change my booster to 2 plus 2 uh, do not connect it to the trailer I said you can just load it on the deck because it's so much easier to drive with a tandem on the ground you know so I would just have a tandem trailer and tandem booster will be on the deck and uh, and the guy replies oh we now have two guys on it we're trying to finish by three I said, you told me yesterday it's not going to be ready by 3, so I already booked the hotel till Monday. I said, take your time, I'm here till Monday, so if, if the trail is ready Monday, it's cool with me, so take your time. But I said, yeah, don't hook up the booster back to the trailer, load it on the deck, and so so that's what we're doing. And I, I exchanged a couple of emails with some brokers, everything is super cheap. One guy has a load from Carolina back to Edmonton, of course. And he says, he's bidding, give me your best shot. So I said, I'm not going there for, for free. I said, last time I spent a month trying to find a load out of Red Deer, as you guys might know. And I give him a price and then somebody has something from Michigan to Ontario, 200 miles, give him a, give him a rate and she says, for 200 miles, like yeah what do you expect you know like they expect it to work for like two bucks a mile and I am uh, about 700 miles away from that location so anyway so I'm still you know talking to some people and uh, just nothing so far and plus you know I'm not sure when my trailer will be ready right uh, but anyway I might need to call them maybe that's what I'll do you know before going there I'm gonna call them on the phone and see what's going on Yes, hi. Uh, I'm sitting outside in the car. I was just wondering, what's the system? How do you how do you order food? Did you already order? No, I did not order. Can I go inside? Yes, you can come inside and order. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay. You just have to have a mask. Yeah. Okay. Okay, see, so you have to go inside and wear a mask and you can order. And then just wait there till we bring it out and then you can eat it in your car. 